Hello and welcome back to Scarlet Sword HD. In the last episode, we found all the Kikui villagers um, and found out more information about Zelda. She is somewhere deep within these woods, as our dowsing uh, tells us. So let's get right into it. Oh, we also got the slingshot, by the way. Pretty cool. <laughs> and we got our sneak peek at uh, the big baddie for this game. I mean baddie in both senses, as in villain and also as in someone who's pretty hot. I think the villain in this game is has a great character design. But you guys will see that when the time is ready. Deep Woods. Alright, awesome. Now, if I remember correctly, yes, uh, so there's a beehive over there, and there's some enemies. Oh, I guess the enemies are over here. Um, but what I wanted to do was shoot this down, and then hopefully the bees will attack. Nope, they're just angry at me right now. Um, but that is a valid strategy. You got some hornet larvae. They're a precious source of protein that comes from a Deku Hornet's hive. This material might be good for making something. Awesome. Um, yeah, it is a valid strategy, um, but just... Um, you have to be more subtle about it. Um, so, for example, wow, three beetles. That's great. Um, so, for example... If like a mob or a bakoblin was standing like right here, right under the tree, and we shot it, the beehive, um, then the bees would attack him. Um, but because we were standing so far away, um, the bees were like, "I know who toppled the hive. Like you're not feeling anyone here." This guy is actually a really a source of a really interesting glitch that I've seen on YouTube. So people will knock him over like this, and then they'll do the fatal blow. Um, let me try showing you how that works so they'll do this and then they'll do oh god sorry guys and he's just gonna die oh no <laughs> i'm so sorry let's see if we can't get this right and so they do that fatal blow and you see how far the fatal blow gets you so we were back here the Bokoblin was like around this vine, but we jumped all that way um, because the game was like, okay, we're going to basically warp you um, so you can perform that animation where you stab the Bokoblin because it doesn't matter how far you are really. But what people will do is that they'll hit the Bokoblin off this ledge and as he's falling, then they'll trigger the um, fatal blow move and they jump all the way across this ledge and end up like right in front of the temple which is crazy like people who glitch and speed run these games are absolutely insane and we just lost the grasshopper but that's fine Ooh. let's see if we if we shoot this beehive yeah the bees are still angry at or no we're good awesome um with the bees though you can just hit them with your sword um like they'll go away you can actually kill them too um, but I think the most useful thing is to catch them with a bug net, which we currently don't have just yet. So yeah, here's what I mean. They'll do the Skyward Strike, and then they'll do a Fatal Blow, which doesn't consider distance, as long as um, like an enemy is available for Fatal Blow, and they're like in your general vicinity, then even if you go farther away, you can still trigger their Fatal Blow. So it's really crazy how people took advantage of that. And use that as basically like a really big jump. People are so creative. And that's just a shortcut for us to get back to. Oh, if we accidentally fall like that. All right, let's go down here. Oh, there's our Goron friend over there. We'll say hi in just a second. Oh, the Deku scrub. There you go. Um. Go this way. Oh, 
just like that. Mm, and now that we have the slingshot, we can just shoot off all these annoying things that were giving us so much trouble last episode. Um, and let's bait this guy. We're going to bait him to try to meet us on the ledge. But we can just shoot him off. See ya. <laughs> it's kind of sad when they scream, but eh. I'm not a huge fan of Bokoblins. And I don't know why Link does like the tightrope thing. I don't like crawling and hugging the rope would be so much easier, especially if you're going horizontally. But I don't know. Teach his own. Is there beetles here? Or are there? Oh yeah, there's some there actually. There's one right there. Ah, oh, we missed it. Whatever. Took care of that. And oh, nice. Oh, that was so close. Okay, at least it was generous with the respawn point. Let's try it again. Okay. Um, I think we need to gain some momentum on that vine before we actually. So let's try doing a few swings. There we go. That should do it. Perfect. Ooh. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's, oh, there's a chest here. I'm guessing 20 rupees. Awesome. And all right, now let's talk to our Goron buddy. Hey. Now there is a face I know. Hey, bud. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here. I stumbled onto one of these things just now, and it looks, looks just like something I have seen in those ancient texts. If I remember right, yep, this is one of the things the goddess was said was said to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? I even thought up a name for these things. I've been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Those ancient texts say some real interesting stuff about these. How did it go again? Let me see. Summon forth the light from a heavenly blade, and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. What do you say we try and crack the myster mystery of this cube together? Sure. Hey, thanks a billion, bud. This cube is made, made of some sort of metal I've never seen. I've wailed on it, but nothing happens. You know, bud, I would say the key to cracking this egg is that one line. You know, the light from a heavenly blade. All right, and since we have the Skyward Sword or the Goddess Sword, that Heavenly Blade is ours, and let's do it. Whoa! Did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think you reacted to that whirly beam thing that shot out of your sword. And where do you think the cube shot off to, anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot uh, more mysterious. The texts say there are cube, cubes like that all over this land. Tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Sounds like a fair deal. Um, well, that was not a great angle of you. Um, but essentially, yeah, they're goddess cubes. And every time we activate one, um, we unlock a treasure. You saw the beam shooting back up into the sky. Around Skylofts, they're... Or in the sky, there are tons of treasure chests that are just inaccessible. You can't open them. Um, but they can only be unlocked. They can only be unlocked after we've at we've activated the corresponding goddess cube on the surface. So as of right now, we've unlocked two chests, and this will be our second one. Oh, sorry, I meant to say we've unlocked one chest, and this will be our second one. Hmm, all right. Ooh, wow, you really got the jump on me there. Now this tablet. He who descended from above looked to the star that the bird rising heavenward gazes upon an angry shot there. It's a hint for the puzzle on how to unlock 
the entry into this temple. See if there's anything on the other side. I heard money. Oh, five rupees, nice. Yep, there's no corresponding tablet. So the tablet told us to look at the bird that gazes heavenward and look to where it's looking and aim your shot there. <laughs> and you'll find this hidden switch right here. So we just have to shoot it. I really, really love the dungeon openings in this game. So you usually have a lot of hype for a dungeon, like you have to find the key or you have to find a way into it, like solve a puzzle, that kind of stuff. And they have like those cutscenes of Link just staring down the staircase and then he like walks into it. I, I really love those cutscenes. We'll see them pretty frequently. Master, I have bad news. The auras of many creatures reverberate throughout this temple. As a result, I can't isolate Zelda's aura. Is that the first time you've talked with a, um, uh, I forgot what that word is called, where instead of, instead of you saying cannot, you say, you said can't. I think that's the first time she, she's done that before. Usually she talks like very formally. So given the situation, I suggest you look around to see where you sh we should move next. All right. Sounds good. Fi. Ooh, I see some bats. Let's get rid of these spider webs go. Some more bats. A lot of spider webs here, jeez. Where did that other rupee go? <laughs> Sorry about spamming the sword there. I just really didn't want to take any damage to that bat. I think the world as it is has taken enough damages from bats, so. Uh, Alright, let's see. Hmm, okay. Let's cut this down. And we need to shoot at that thing back there. But that Deku Baba is blocking it. I think we can just shoot it though. There we go. Yeah, what the game wanted you to do was to shoot the Deku Baba stun it, climb up the ladder, or climb up the vines while it's stunned, and then kill it, and then hit the switch, but we can just pro gamer move. <laughs> That's not even a pro gamer move. All right, and here, you see that this eye will follow our sword, so we want to make him dizzy. Oop, sorry about the controls. There you go. Now, I think they give you a hint on how to solve that puzzle somewhere. Yeah, it's on that stone tablet down there, um, but it was also in the... Oh, there's a lot of amber relics here. Why is that? I've never noticed that before. Whoa, interesting. There's another one here. Um, but that was also one of the scenes that they showed in the... Uh, trailer for this game back in 2011 so I think people knew how to like that stuck with so many people so even without the stone tablet if you saw the trailer you can probably figure it out Ooh. there we go sorry about all the spamming oh jeez See if we can't stun him. Like that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not on my A game today. We'll try better with this guy. There we go. Awesome. Hmm. Um, 
can actually come down here. Let's shoot this first. And that'll unlock the door up top. Awesome. And climb up here. Shoot that. And that'll unlock the door there. So we've got two paths ahead of us. Um, and yeah, we'll see in the next episode which door we start with. Can't go through that one because it's got a lock on it. So through one of these doors, we need to find a small key. But yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. So until then, thanks so much for watching. and I'll see you then.